there are signs that showed Trump supporters with their MAGA hats crossed out saying, keep New York City trash free. This is so eerie. For the left claiming to be all about love, tolerance, acceptance, and diversity, this is purely bigotry. They appeared to be funded by New York City, but upon research I found out it was just a street artist who decided to do some guerrilla art. So I was like, whew, good thing it's not really New York City saying this. The artist made a few different works as well as the Keep Trash Out of New York City posters. He created a Sean Hannity poster in a sexual position with what appears to be Trump, but even the left were unimpressed by this. His newest pieces on the street are pasted on garbage cans and feature people in red caps identified with the Make America Great Again slogan that Trump supporters are known to sport. The male in a muscle t-shirt has a confederate flag tattooed in a heart shape on his bicep and is sipping from a Chick-fil-A cup while the woman is holding a Bible under her arm. I mean, could you imagine if we put up posters and it happened to be a Quran under a woman with a hijab arm? Yeah, I wonder how that would turn out. Brooklyn Street Artist said, so that brings us to the new series you just created and installed. Your subjects are white people only and you are calling them trash. Winston said, I wouldn't say it's meant to represent all Caucasians, but certainly they are meant to portray a certain demographic. In this case, a segment of white people that I personally believe the posters accurately reflect. The statistics are there that a lot of Trump supporters who wear the MAGA hats come from red states from the South and are Christian evangelicals. Wow, interesting that they can use statistics to identify a demographic and explain the traits of certain people. Hmm. He tries to use statistics to do a blanket statement and stereotype white people or Trump supporters. But isn't that interesting? Because when we try to use statistics and say that certain groups tend to do certain things or tend to be a certain way, it's suddenly racist. Hmm. Interesting that they get to do that to white people. I'm not sure where Winston is from, but both Trump and I are born and raised in New York. There are plenty of Trump supporters in New York, and if you look at the voting map of New York State, you can see that the whole state, including parts of Brooklyn and Staten Island, are red. This is the common misconception. We are a red state, but it's just New York City with all of the people there that turn the state blue. These types of people are completely ignorant to the fact that there are Trump supporters in New York. Most of the state doesn't really care too much for city folk anyway. And no, we aren't evangelicals. This, this, this is a homage beat. This, this, this is a homage beat.